What's good, MABW team? What's going on today, MABW fam? I'm back today with another video. In today's video, to the MABW team out there, I got a quick question for y'all. Do y'all really think that women care about love this day and age when they're dealing with men that have money? Do they have any morals left when they are dealing with men that have money? I seen this picture right here of Little Dirk and his fiance India Royale arriving at his Neighborhood Heroes Foundation event, right? And before I even go any further, I want to say that I can't stand people like Little Dirk. And I'm going to tell you why before y'all try to come out here and say anything about me. Guys like Little Dirk have caused so much destruction amongst the youth. He's caused so much damage and lost so many members of his family because of because of his actions, close friends even. Then they could turn around, create neighborhood foundations, or try to give back to the community. And y'all praise these people. Y'all praise these type suckers. We have to stop doing that all the time. Let these people like him run amok, cause so much destruction, and then they can turn around after they've made all the money that they've wanted to make, causing so much destruction, and y'all still sit up here and praise people like Little Dirt, like he's doing something really positive for the community. And then he'll go right back to making the same type of music after creating foundations like his neighborhood foundation that he has right now. Now, to the women out there, you know why I say that y'all have no morals? Because Little Dirk is engaged to India Royale, right? It came out that he actually cheated on his fiance. She act like she was gonna she act like she was gonna go somewhere, but she ended up staying. You women can never stand your ground on leaving a man when he has money. And that's real odd to me because y'all wanna always make it seem like things are not about money. But it actually is. If Little Dirt didn't have any money and he cheated on India Royale, do you think she would have stayed with him? Do y'all really think she would have stayed with him? And I remember back then when it first came out that he possibly did cheat on her. I remember a lot of women in the comment section that I was reading stating that, well, India Royale has her own money. She'll be fine just without him. I, I, I highly doubt that. I really highly doubt that. If you're a woman and you stand on principles and morals and you get cheated on from your fiance or your husband, why not leave them? Why stay? There's nothing else to talk about. If you're my fiance and you cheat on me, there's nothing else to talk about. We can end the relationship right then and there. The engagement is off. There will be no wedding. That's one thing I want you women to understand about men. Anytime you see a video and it comes to light that that woman cheated on that man, that man doesn't try to make it work out. That man will leave that woman at the altar. He will leave her at the altar. These women, y'all don't do the same thing. Why? Because y'all want something monetary from men. I always say that wedding, marriage, whatever you want to call it, it's a monetary game. It's a monetary, it's a monetary game. Same thing with Beyonce and Jay-Z. When he supposedly cheated on her with Becky with the good hair. Why didn't she just leave him? Why didn't she make a statement to black women that when your husband cheats on you, you can get up, walk away, and leave him. She supposedly has enough money, right? She would have been fine, right? So why not make a statement? Why? Women, don't you think for a rich woman to leave a rich entertainer that she would make a statement if she divorced him, if he cheated on her, instead of staying with that man? Wouldn't that make a statement? Wouldn't that make one of the biggest statements ever? Everything is monetary with you, woman. No matter what y'all want to say, 
No matter what men out there want to believe, everything is monetary with y'all. With India Royale and Dirk, for y'all that don't know, Dirk has six kids by five different baby mothers. How many of you women are having a baby out here by a man with at least four to five different baby mothers? I'll wait. I highly doubt none of y'all would do that if it was just the average type guy. But if that guy had money, you would def rethink that situation and say, you know what? I might as well go for it. What happened? To, ladies, what happened to morals? What happened to y'all having some sense of pride in yourselves? I really want to know that answer. What happened to that? What happened to that? Let's talk about Cassie and Diddy. Same thing. You let this man degrade you and do everything he wanted to do for you while you were with that man. And then after you and that man are not together no more, you're not in the limelight with him anymore. Now these allegations come out about what he did to you. When in all actuality, if you would have put those allegations out while you were with him and then left him, it would have made you look like a stronger woman. I could really see women rallying behind you and getting behind that. But no woman stands up for real feminism, as y'all seem, seemingly say. Y'all don't stand up for that at all. Y'all make it seem like y'all so strong, but y'all will let these rich men piss on y'all, shit on y'all, do anything they want to y'all because of money. But once again, y'all want to act like everything isn't about the money. So what are we left with here? Why are y'all still here? Why are y'all around? I would never in my life let a woman degrade me because she has more money than me at all. That's one thing I always say us men don't care about. Ladies, we don't care about your degree. We don't care about how much money you got, okay? I always state that on my channel. We don't care about that stuff. We don't care. Because at the end of the day, you're not going to help us out with what you got. Your degree, isn't your degree isn't helping the average guy out. You can't pass your stupid degree down to your children either. But for the most part, men that have skills and trades, they can pass that on down to their children. They can. So I just wanted to touch on this topic real quick. Women act like it's not about the money when it comes to certain things, but in all aspects, it really is. Y'all will degrade yourselves, disrespect yourselves, have no self-respect for yourselves when y'all dating a man with money. But as soon as you done dating that man and y'all not together no more, that's when the allegations come out, the disrespect comes out, and you act like you've done something brave for women. But in all actuality, I say that women should never respect women like Beyonce. Never should respect women like India Royale. You shouldn't respect women like Cardi B because all these people do is talk. All they do is talk. They're married and they act like they're strong and independent. But how can you come out here and say you're strong and independent to women when y'all won't even leave a man that cheated on y'all while y'all was married? Y'all let me know what y'all think about this video. Anyways, that's my video for today. If you like the video, of course, comment, like, and subscribe. It ain't costing you a damn thing. And of course, I'ma holla back at y'all later. Peace.